What's up kids, Mr. Sapia back here with a uh, quick tutorial on how to use Google Drawings. So obviously in front of you, you will see that there is a map of North America. And if you scroll down a little bit, you could see that there are five tasks that I would like you to use Google Drawings for in order to complete. The first one is label the two countries that border the United States. Label Alaska and tell me what climate zone it's in, excuse me. Label the Rocky Mountains and what the terrain is. Let me just fix that typo. Label where Death Valley is located in Mount McKinley and label the Atlantic Ocean and Pacific Ocean. Now, a lot of this information that I'm asking you to label comes from yesterday's lesson. So that's how I always talk about learning is always connected in our room. So in order to label these, what you'll see here is you can see your toolbar, okay? We have lines, shapes, text box, images, which you won't really need. We're really gonna kind of focus on um, selecting lines, shapes, and text boxes. So if you see, you can, there's a little down arrow. So if you click the down arrow, you're gonna be presented with a list of options, line, arrow, elbow connector, curve connector, curve, polyline, and scribble. So the one I'm going to use, I'm going to use arrow. Now, basically, the questions that I asked you down here, I'm not going to answer those because that would be giving you the answers, but I'm just going to give you an example here. So I'm a, I have arrow here. So let's say this is Greenland, okay? Right here. Notice I have it on Greenland, and I have the arrow. Now, if I wanted to type something, for Greenland, maybe I could type that it has a polar climate zone. So I have my arrow, and then I'm gonna come over here to the text box. And now that's clicked, I'm gonna come over here, just gonna make a little text box right here. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow me to then type the information. So I could say Greenland is a polar climate zone, period. Now, just like always, what you can do is you can resize. So if you highlight everything, you can change the font size. You know, you don't need it too big or too small. You know, you can make it bold. You can change the colors. So that's one example on how to use the arrow feature. That's probably going to be the one that you're going to use the most for today's lesson. And then we have the shapes feature here, which also, you know, again, if you hover over, it gives you a lot of options in different shapes. There's arrows here, which is another reason why I wanted to show you the shapes feature. So basically, you're going to use these three, the arrow, shapes, and the text box to complete today's lesson. Now, I'm going to give you a hint. You are certainly going to need to look on a website in order to find out some of this information. All right. So as always, take charge of your learning and give 100%.